वेलकम क्लास सिक्स टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट विथ एक्सरसाइज फिफ्टीन डी सो इन एक्सरसाइज फिफ्टीन डी वी हैव द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वे वी हैव टू एक्सप्रेस इन पेसे सो एक्सप्रेस इन पेसे okay so question number 1 is rupees 8.40 which we have to express in paise all right now we know that rupee 1 is equal to 100 paise okay that means rupees 8.40 Will be equal to rupees eight point four zero. Sorry, we will not write rupees now. Eight point four zero needs to multiply with hundred. So now here it's a multiplication by hundred. Now we know how to multiply, right? With hundreds or tens or you know one thousand, ten thousand, and so on. Simply, we'll write down the number without the decimal, and the decimal will shift towards the right. Remember, multiplication towards right. So one and two. So two zeros. So two places it will shift towards right. So from here one and two. That means the decimal will shift over here. So when the decimal is at the end of the number, we don't need to write it. Okay. So eight hundred and forty paise. So rupees eight point four zero becomes eight hundred and forty paise. All right, and this is the required answer. So this work has to be shown in the main page. Okay, it should not be somewhere else. Similarly, I am giving my own question. Let's say rupees. Thirteen point eight. Thirteen point eight. You have to express as paise. So again, rupees one is equal to hundred paise. Okay, hundred paise. Then rupees thirteen point eight will be equal to thirteen. Point eight multiplies with hundred, so we will write one three eight. Then the decimal will shift two places towards right, one and two. Okay, one and two. That means a zero should be placed over here, so that the decimal moves from here, one and two. So one three eight zero, paise. So this is equal to one three eight. Zero, paise. So, this is how we get the answer. All right. Next one is we have to convert express in rupees. So, in the next question, question number two, we have to express. In rupees, so let's uh, take an example. Okay, one hundred and seventy-one paise. Let's say. Now we know that hundred paise is equal to. Rupee one. That means one paise is equal to rupees one divided by hundred. So similarly, one hundred and seventy-one paise will be equal to rupees one by hundred 
which multiplies with 171. Okay, or simply we can say this 171 if you divide by 100, you will get the amount in rupees. <clears throat> so, there are two zeros and you are dividing that means the decimal will shift towards the left. Alright, so this will be 171 when you divide by 100, two zeros will shift. So, it will be 1.71 and rupees 1.71 will be the required answer. Okay, so similarly, example number 2, if we have 547 paise for example, alright, 547 paise, you need to convert it in terms of rupees or express as rupees. Then simply 547 will be divided by 100. So, the answer that you will get is 547. The decimal is over here. If there is no decimal, means the decimal point is at the end of the number. So, here, okay, two places towards the left, 1 and 2. So, this should be the decimal. So, rupees 5.47 will be the required answer. So, this is how we express in rupees. Okay. Similarly, to express in centimeter, that is question number 3, express in centimeter, alright, now let us say it is uh, 7.72 meter. Okay. Now, we know 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. Therefore, 72 meter will be equal to 72 multiplied with 100. So, that over here is very simple 72 when multiplied by 100 becomes 7200. Okay, double zeros will be added. You do not have to multiply like the way you, you know, usually multiply. You do not have to do all this. Okay, this is not required. 72 into 1 is 72 and just put two zeros and then your answer will be in centimeter. All right. Similarly, <clears throat> if your question contains some decimal like 4.5 meter, then 4.5 meter will be multiplied with 100 so that you will get 4, 5, two zeros means two places towards the left, one and two, okay. So, here the decimal is here, so one place and two place, so it will reach over here, so 450 centimeter, okay. You do not need to write the zero after decimal, so it is simply 450 centimeter, that will be the answer, all right. Thank you.